Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the female urethra. The female urethra has the length of about 4 cm in the adult and its width is around 6 mm. If you look at the sagittal section of the pelvic viscera and perineum in women, we will get this is the female urethra. It is 4 cm in length and around 6 mm in width. It begins in the internal urethral orifice. Here is the internal urethral orifice and it passes through the anterior wall of the vagina, passes through the urogenital diaphragm and opens into the vestibule of the vagina. So it is about 2.5 cm below the root of the clitoris. If this is the clitoris, then here is the urethra. It runs downwards and forwards in the anterior wall of the vagina, traverses the urogenital diaphragm, opens at the external urethral orifice at the vestibule of the vagina. Vestibule of the vagina means the space between two labia minora, and labia minora are present in between two labia majora inside the pudendal cleft. So, in between the labia minora, the vestibule of the vagina where the female urethra opens. This is the labia minora. That is the labia majora. The mucus of the female urethra is folded and contains numerous mucus gland. Collection of mucus gland at the proximal part or upper part of the female urethra forms the paraurethral gland of skinny. So collection of mucus gland at the upper part or proximal part of the female urethra forms the paraurethral gland of skinny and they open on either side on both side of the of the urethra. And the gland of skin are homologous, the glands of skin are homologous to the male prostate. So again, if you look at that anatomy here, the labia majora here, then the labia minora, in between labia minora, we have the vestibule here. Vestibule is the clitoris and root is connected to the lower part of the sympathesis pubis as well as the ramus of the pubis, okay. So from there, around 2.5 centimeter is the clitoris from clitoris to 2.5 centimeter is the urethral, urethral opening in the vestibule of the vagina and it is it can be exposed by retracting the labia minor on both sides okay the musculature surrounding the internal urethral orifice in a female is not organized as an internal sphincter. So internal sphincter is prominent and organized in male, but in female it is not. But there is an annular external urethral sphincter is this, okay? And also with the muscle, the compressor urethral muscle, it passes through the urogenital diaphragm and it is called as erogenital sphincter. So what is the blood supply of the female urethra? Internal parental artery and vaginal artery. Veins follow the arteries. Lymphatics drain into the sacral and internal iliac lymph nodes. From the distal urethra, the lymphatics may go to the inguinal lymph nodes. Innervation from the vesical nerve plexus and pudendal nerve, both the somatic and autonomic nerve, the parasympathetic nerve and the somatic nerve are coming from the 
S2, S3, S4 spinal cord segment and ganglia. Okay, so clinical note, catheterization of the female urethra is very much essential in certain situation, just like before the delivery of the baby for the C-section or any abdominal surgery or in any case of retention of urine, catheterization is a common practice. Ideally, it is done in a very much aseptic precaution and the labia minor are separated and the urethral, external urethral opening is seen around 2.5 cm below the root of the clitoris, then catheter is passed. Catheterization, once it is identified, the external urethral opening, catheterization is easier in female than that of the male because it is only 4 cm and it is more dilated. And that's all about the anatomy of the female urethra. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. And have a nice day. Bye now.